morning and welcome back to another episode of the Soda Stream News. I'm your host, Jariana Rodriguez. And I'm your other host, Elias Naim. Today is Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, and it is an A day. We're now selling the BLM merch for this year. The prices are as follows t shirts are $10, long sleeves are $15, crew necks are $25, hoodies are $25, and the sizes range from extra small to 4XL. Please fill out the Google form and then bring cash to A173. Ms. Case will also be in the main office by the spiral staircase today, February 1st, and tomorrow, February 2nd, during periods 1 and 9. Money is due by February 3rd. Attention all students, are you interested in ushering for any of the upcoming shows this year? Please join us for one of our usher training sessions. 11th and 12th graders can get community service hours for ushering. They will be held on Wednesday, March 1st at 3.35 p.m. in the main lobby or Thursday, March 2nd, 6th, 6th period in the main lobby. If you wish to attend on March 2nd, that must be your lunch or advisement period. You must attend a training session in order to usher for a show on the main stage. If you have already attended, then you are all set. Please see your email, Ms. Gregoire, in room M155 or at this email address or join this code to join the Google Classroom. Calling all high school musicians, dancers, actors, and visual artists. The annual Omega Sci-Fi Talent Hunt is underway. Omega Sci-Fi is a historically African-American fraternity. Each year they host a talent competition for high school students. There are cash prizes for the winners. Many students from Soda have won in the past. There are local, regional, and national rounds. You may audition under the following categories. Classical, instrumental solo, classical vocal solo, drama interpretation, dance solo, jazz solo, piano solo, visual arts, and non-classical vocal solo. If you would like to enter, pick up an application outside Mr. Hartman's door, A191, and sign up for a time slot for an in-person audition on either Monday, February 6th, or Tuesday, February 7th. After school, from 3.30 to 5.30. Please email, email Mr. Hartman or see him in A191 for any questions. Soda 2023 yearbooks are on sale now through April 10th. Orders can be placed online or visit the Soda website and look for this flyer or the ordering link or QR code. Applications for the Summer of Opportunity program will run today, February 1st through March 23rd. Applications can be found under the counselor section of the Soda website or at this website. Apply early for this great opportunity. Please see your counselor with any questions. Thank you for watching and, and tune, tune in tomorrow, tomorrow for another sip of the Soda Stream news. news. We leave you now with Fit Check. All right. Um, do you have a favorite pair of sneakers? Um, I think it's sketches. Let's go. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like them all. Is there someone that you have been particularly putting on replays recently? Not a week. What do you know about 90s and 2000s fashion? They don't know how to dress at all. Um, what's your favorite aesthetic? Probably like necklaces or chains. Do you have a favorite artist? Annalie Chapa. What do you know about 90s and 2000s fashion? 90s and 2000s what? Fashion. Nothing. I don't know. Nothing? I'm only 14. What do you know about 90s fashion? It was terrible. It looked, it looked trash. <laughs> they mix and match things that don't belong together. It was ugly. They looked ugly. What is your favorite aesthetic and what does it consist of? I like cottage core and grunge, but I mostly wear grunge stuff. And it's mostly like baggy kind of black clothes. And then cottage core is kind of like soft colors like green and brown and all that. It's pretty cute. I don't really have a favorite artist. I listen to like all kinds of different music. And what are some of the kinds of music? Uh, I've personally, lately I've been listening to a lot of Japanese music. Do you know about 90s and 2000s fashion? That'd be a question for my mom. I have no idea. Oh my god, is that the coordination? Uh, who are you guys? <laughs> That is for you to find out later. Um, okay. Look at this fit that he has on. Uh, uh don't, don't get the shoes. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Are those sketchers? Uh, Whoa. I, 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 I can explain. Whoa. No. Whoa. Listen, all right? This isn't in my contract. I cannot be filmed. That's how I'm on the show. Uh, I got a nice pump cover on. 
under another pump cover, 6X shirt. You guys wouldn't know about it. Uh, just some casual pants. And then, Skechers. Where'd you get them from? From my mother. Thanks. All right. All right, bye. Thank you. Those people look like somebody I know. Two people I know, actually. I'm a Jai. And I'm Deanna. And we're Bit Check. Bit Check. Bit Check. Bro, I don't know what to do. Like, what do you mean? The crossover. Like, I. I how, how will we even do something like this? Honestly, I don't know what to do. I mean, some of the characters aren't even that fleshed out. We could jar well. We could. Only. Only characters we have fleshed out are Jai Man mm -hmm. and Claymation, and now we're introducing the Nate and Elias Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I just feel like for this, every character is going to have to have their own type of art throughout the whole crossover. Even if we're in like the midst of the whole Nate and Elias thing, they can end up making up throughout the whole situation that's going on through the crossover. These segments are just you guys being you. These are just regular segments just with an intro and an outro. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand. We'll figure out some sort of way to implement it all. Yeah, but Fitchek I feel I mean, like with those we're just gonna have to improvise being us. Fitchek, I mean it's just you and Gianna like We're brothers. I never We're happy and we're singing and we're coming. I never press play on anything. In fact I was closed out of the tab. Cut and print, beautiful guys.